Yes. Yes. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Whoa. Yes, you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Ooh. No. laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome yourselves back to the channel as well as War Thunder. Today, we are going to be flying the legendary Fockerwolf 189. Now, this is a bit of an oddball in the game. This was an event vehicle that you could get at the same time as the KV-220, I believe. Yeah, Operation Summer 2016. When this was first introduced, this caused absolute mayhem at low tier because its turn radius was about something stupid like 12 seconds. It was nerfed to 16 seconds, which is still very, very quick. This historically would have had a reconnaissance role. In the game, it is pitched as a light bomber. This is not a light bomber. This is a fighter. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, fantastic. We are on Sicily, which is a really actually a very good map for us because it is very compact and there's not much for us to really or there's not much distance at least for us to go. So first of all, let's ditch all the bombs. We want to be as light as we possibly can and let's start heading straight to where they are climbing from. So we've got a thousand rounds of MG17 ammunition. Now this thing is very good in a few reasons. First of all, turn radius 16 seconds is still competitive even when it's been nerfed. But secondly, which is, I suppose, more important. Um, this thing has a really, really, really low stall speed. Well, first target. Um, so it means that we can effectively, like, dogfight these guys. They're going to be pretty much stalling out. <laughs> well, we're still going to be okay. Um, the only thing is it does lose its energy very quickly, so you can get caught off guard. Uh, but outside of that, this thing is an, an Im immense dogfighter. So we've got a P36 here. Got a Catalina above us. So I reckon let's get some altitude. Let's cause him to to stall out. And now let's attack him. Oh. There we go. <laughs> That's one down. That was a bit of a silly maneuver on my part, to be fair. But <laughs> let's go for number two. Oh, that's the only thing is the speed. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, number two. <laughs> this thing hasn't changed. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. <laughs> Oh, this thing hasn't changed at all. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so this kind of gives us a chance to show the maneuverability of this thing. I mean, we're pretty much buggered here, guys. There's um, there's very little we can do because we're running. We've got an oil leak. I mean... <laughs> See, it's dogfighting with... And that's not even with combat flaps. The flaps um, aren't great on this thing, in fairness. Where's the other guy gone? There was another one above me or behind me. I can't tell anymore. Got a hit on him. <laughs> God, this thing's hilarious. We're going to die here. What? How are we not dead? No way. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's funny. I wonder if we could, um, we can get a little bit of extra. I mean, we're so going to die here, guys. It's just, it'll be really funny to try and, oh, to try and take some of these out. Cause they just can't, I mean, he's actually not doing a bad job in fairness. Oh, oh we can extinguish this thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Operation Kalen Go. This map is also a nice small one, so I reckon we're going to have another fun time on here. Hey, do you guys remember when um, Japanese spawn on this side and everyone just 
just used to go and land their H6Ks or their float planes in that lake there and just use them as AA guns. Okay, so good news and bad news. Good news is, small map. Bad news, battle rating wise, we're in trouble here. Um, this is not going to be as simple or straightforward as the last match, but we will do our very best. Now, the interesting thing about this aircraft is its defenses as well. So, you've got your upper turret here, and you've also got the rear turret. They both can converge on similar locations. But the very interesting thing is that turret can turn upside down at the rear. So you can then defend the lower side of you as well. I mean, not fully. You can't go all the way down, but something's better than nothing, right? Actually, while we're on our way to harass enemy team... Um, we might as well drop our bombs on some of these guys down here, to be honest, because, uh... Oh, P-38. So, I mean, we're, we're close to them. We might as well. And it actually might draw a few of them down, down low to attack us, in fairness. And another one. Whoop. Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, look at all of those lovely soft targets. We shall, uh, we shall enjoy destroying them. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Some points. Right, where'd this guy go? He oh, okay, we've got P-51 above us. Oh, we've got a few of them above us. Oh, those, those are scary! <laughs> okay, well, we've got an IL-2 for support, which is lovely. We've got a P... Anyway. This guy definitely seems to be beelining for me, though. So... No, maybe not. All right, let's go get involved. Oh. Nope. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> Whoop. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> okay. Um, high speed retract flaps, really? Ah, oh, this is bad. <laughs> We're going to die. We're, gonna We're not going to die. We're not going to die. Oh, we got F two A on us now. Oh, we got the P forty. Jesus Christ, what is going on? There's so much gunfire happening that I don't know where to. Oh no, my uh, rear gunner's out. Come on, quick, quick. Okay, we can now try and help the one hundred and nine with the F two A. Come here, come here. Yes, we got him. His oil. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh. Okay, he, he doesn't care about me. That's fine. All right, give me some take up. Ah, uh, we're in trouble here. Oh, maybe not. No! Come on! <laughs> it's sick. It's so stupid. Oh, that's something behind me I don't like. Oh. Come here, you little... <laughs> you little buffalo. <laughs> Come here. <sighs> yes, you. <laughs> I don't even care that we're only getting one or two kills. It's the fact that the, <laughs> the fact that this thing is just so stupid. Oh, Gaijin, you are treating me with these lovely small maps. I am going straight for their airfield. Okay, so by the looks of it, we're going to have at least a three mile height advantage on these guys. So by the time we get to them, it should be about a one mile height advantage. So I reckon we've got, we've got the Japanese, the Soviets and the Chinese. So Japan's made a paper, but can turn with us. Russia's a little bit in between. I suppose technically China's both. <laughs> Hello, sir. I have come to destroy you. Let's wind them all up. Let's wind. <laughs> let's, let's annoy them all. Key 27, key 27. He's on fire. Let's target another one. Is there any more we can get down there? No. MiG-3 might try and get us. He's still alive. That's impressive. Yeah, he's going to go in on us. Whoa! There's no need for that. I'm ages away. I'm going to have to go back and repair now. I was freaking three miles away. What gives? What was a lag? Uh, 
Well, these guys are going to be going for me next, very clearly. Uh, uh, six. Yes. We're okay. Come on. You've used the fire extinguisher. Yes. Uh, and bullet. Yep. Yep, there we go. That's fine. Are our rig... No, both of our rear gunners are dead. Okay. Oh, really? You're going to do this? You, you want to do this right now? Whoop. Come here. Yeah, you don't like it when someone shoots back, do you? Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes! <laughs> okay, next problem. Uh, we don't have too much in the way of airspeed because we only have one engine. So. Uh, run. Oh, no, don't say that. Okay, good. Oh, oh tree! <laughs> okay, Tunisia. In fact, this is a, a map that we very rarely... Actually, no, what am I saying? This is a map that's very common. I think it's just because I'm so used to the slightly higher tier one where you kind of battle over that area of the map. Look at them. They're all going to be super... Wait, where is everyone? Is this going to be a... This is going to be a really short game. And normally, judging by the amount of bombers and attackers we have on our team, is normally the amount they have on theirs. So... So, where are they then? Got a potes up... Ah, uh, yep, there we go. Well, I can deal with a P400 maybe. Oh, two fighters. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna climb, I know. And then I go up, like that. And then we do a flippy flippies. And then we go get him. See? Nice and easy. Right, throttle back. Get our camera to go in the angle we want it to. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, I didn't realise you were there so quickly. Okay, well what we'll do then is we will do this. I can't believe none of those hit him. Okay, well we're starting to get some more fighters this area now. And then we'll go up. Come on. We've got a critical on him. Oh, we've got a hurricane to deal with as well. Let's just quickly try and manoeuvre. There we go. So we've got the gladiator that doesn't like us. We've got the hurricane that doesn't like us. We can outturn the hurricane just about. It's only by like 0.5 of a turn radius though, I think. I don't know where that gladiator just went. Yeah, it's very close with with the hurricane. But we should be able, if we flip around on him... Oh, maybe not. That was a bad move on my part. But I have a better stall speed than him. So if we now give me some combat flaps. There we go. There we go. That's what we wanted. And then... Yeah, you're in trouble now, mate. Although we've got that... Okay, and over. You're going in. I very much doubt that you're pulling out from that. Are you? Oh, wow, fair play. There we go. Knees dealt with. Gladiator next. Lovely. Although he's already quite damaged. I don't know if that's from the critical stuff that I did to him earlier. It might be. Swordfish. I'm not going to go for him. That's just cruel. And then... There we go. Lovely. P36. What's he going to do? Oh, we're really near their airfield. This isn't good. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Okay, so we've got a couple of options here. We could... Oh my god, three kills. <laughs> um, we could head back to base. 
and uh, Riam. Although there's only three of them left. Four of them left, sorry. The problem is, I suspect there's at least one that's in a B-18. Um, so, I mean, whatever we do, let's quickly... Come on. He's... Yep, yeah, there we go. Did we get it? No, not quite. Okay, you got a swordfish over here. I'm not sure how he's still alive, frankly. But fair play. So is anyone going to go for the swordfish? Or is he just going to vibe? Mo's having a go. <laughs> how is this guy still going? What? <laughs> he's pulled off! What? How? No. <laughs> No way! Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, it looks like we're going for the swordfish after all, guys. I can't, I can't believe we're pretty much the same speed. In fact, I think he's going faster than me at the moment. Oi! You shouldn't be able to hit, shoot from that fire arc. Right, you're having it now, boy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Low tier matches. <laughs> what is going on? Those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the up up. They go down to the down down. Oh, the B18 crashed. Which means there's only two left and you're one of them. That is good, but it does mean. Ah, there we go. See? Where we were. Like, this is, seriously, the stall speed of this is mental. Look, I'm going like 70 miles per hour. <laughs> I'm still climbing at 76 miles per hour. <laughs> right. Let's touch her down. Wasn't the perfect landing, but you know what? Oh, well. What I love about this aircraft, though, is it kind of proves the point that you don't need immense firepower. You just need a plane that you really know its strengths and also a plane that can catch the enemy off guard. I think that's that's the primary thing there is people just don't expect this thing to go for them. They see it as a, a light bomber and they go, ah, it's, it's not a problem. No, it is not a light bomber. It is the best 2.3 fighter aircraft the Luftwaffe has. <laughs> and there we go. Four kills this match, not good. Not bad, not bad, not good, not bad. Okay, so we're on real this time around. Unfortunately, this is a map that has quite a lot of dis distance between the enemy and us. So, we've... Okay, we've got a fuck off 200 bill above us. So we need to kind of keep a little bit of altitude. We can't just rush them, because by the time that we get to them, they're going to be somewhat... This is a small game again. Okay, so that means there's two attackers, at least on their team. There's at least one bomber. So no, we do have to stay high this time. Look at that big boy right there. That is an absolute chungus, that is. So, I mean, this thing isn't particularly quick. It has a max speed of about 223 miles per hour. Um, so it's not overly fast. Uh, it's It has a maximum speed, I think, of around 320 miles per hour. So about 100 mile an hour more, which really catches you out, I might add, if you're in a dive in a dogfight. Uh, the flaps can't be used anything, I think, above around 120 mile an hour, I'm going to say. So you can't just slap them on and hope for the best. But this thing really surprises people. And the thing is, what I think makes it so deadly is you have all of this surface area for lift, so you get an amazing turn time. But honestly... It's having those two guns right there. Pretty much all of your shots are on target all of the time. This A36 is definitely going to go for that fuck all of 200 as a hurricane. Yep, there we go. All right, let's uh, let's di ditch these bombs. DB7. Okay, I know how to deal with you. Aim for the engines. F2A. We're struggling to catch this guy, but we will get there eventually. P40, F2A, hurricane, DB7. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're slowly closing in on these guys, but it's taken a bloody while. Oh no, don't bring them towards me. I can't head on them. 
No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come here. Okay, he's critical. What else have we got? An F2A. Let's go for the F2A. Okay, he's on fire. A36. Come here. Yeah. Right, he's on fire. P40. You're next. Nope. Uh, A36 power is fire. That's not ideal. Come on. I know. Throw it right back. Come on. Come on. Give me a fire. There we go. That'll do. Right. Who we got next to us? F2. Did that F2A survive? What? Okay. Well, let's bring him low. This is where we do best. Yeah. There we go. Seems everyone's surviving my fires today. Apart from you. Fantastic. Now, I don't know if that A36 is going to survive going back to base. He may do, but his engine might have died. Uh, F4F. So if that's where he is, okay. Maybe that guy won't survive back to base and we'll see what happens. Really, we need some more ammunition. But, huh. Well, I suppose we can climb a little bit and go and try and engage this, uh, this wildcat. Is he going to attack the HS-129? That is my question. Logic should say he will go for him first, but we are passing each other now, so it will be me he goes for, right? Let's get some... Let's get some energy. What's he going to do? Is that fear? Is that fear? Alright, what are you going to do? Okay. Alright, that's fine. I can deal with that. Let's get into a nice, nice turn fight. Let's bleed all of your energy. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Turn fight me. Okay, critical. Lovely. That's it. I know. I know. You're, you're panicking. It'll all be over soon. There we go. Alright, there's that DB7 from before. Problem is, we only have 164 rounds left, so... What am I hearing? What are you? Uh, we can't do much. We can probably do one... One pass on him, I'd say. I don't know what's happened about that, um... A36, he must have got back to base. Uh, this guy's... <laughs> this guy's a bit puckered. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's done. Okay, well, with the DB7 taken care of, that frees us up to engage the A36. We won't have much ammunition to do so, but it means we're, we've got at least some rounds. Um available for him. So let's put this, uh, I'll tell you what, a five degree climb, that'll do. Okay, so there's definitely no one at that airfield. Ah, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay. Now look, if this guy kills me, fair play, I think he will have earned it. But at the moment I have the high altitude. So, he knows what I'm capable of. He won't want to play this stupid. So, Let's get involved. Yeah, there we go. Is he going to learn from his mistakes, though? Is he... Is he going to use his energy? Yes, he is. He has learned from his mistakes. He's trying to run. Okay. He knows. He eats... Oh, okay. We've got a player that's learnt here. Fair play. Go away, AA. But the 109 will force him to turn think yes there we go so this is our opening right here <laughs> there are 
are no words. That is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing this thing. <laughs> uh, obviously, this is an aircraft that you can't particularly get anymore. Um, it is hugely fun. Um, it's, it's certainly not the most powerful aircraft in the game, but in the right circumstances, it can be absolutely deadly. Do not underestimate this thing if you come against it in a match. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like below. Uh, comment what you think this thing's like and what you think I should play next. And if you'd like to join the channel, please feel free to become a subscriber. Really, really helps out. Until next time, take care.